But the reality was that that is that is who that God was and that is who that God is. And it was he that was willing to reach down and, and, and grasp me up. When you became a Christian, your mother wasn't exactly happy about it. It wasn't like she said, oh, I want to come to your baptism. In fact, it's a statement. We're going to put it up on the screen. It's just, it's, it's shocking. And, and it's got to be hurtful. But it, it's this hurt or statement that she made about you. And let's get it on the screen because I want our audience to see it. It says, one could call this, this one she disowned you, could call this a postnatal abortion on the part of a mother. Uh, I repudiate him, speaking of you. I repudiate him entirely and completely for now and all times. He is beyond human forgiveness. That had to have hurt coming from your own mother. Well, Governor, oddly, it didn't hurt that much because of how dysfunctional the home was that I was raised in and the number of times where I had done something that was perhaps wrong in her eyes as a child when she had looked at me and said, I wish abortion would have been legal when I was carrying. She told you she that told to your me face. that to my face when I was younger. So this was nothing more than, than, you know, a continuation of that. But that is the type of home where the only thing that's important are those material things or material philosophies uh, or government or statism or, or, or whatever. When only those things are important to you, the feelings of people, of individuals, aren't that important. You know, it's a remarkable story. And Bill, the fact that you are able to come out with love and forgiveness and a life of peace and joy is as great a testament uh, to God's grace as it is to your own ability to receive it. And we're all the better for it. Your book is remarkable. It's called My Life Without God. We'll be right back. Stay with us.